now it works. Perfect. So weird. First time trying to go live on um, here. So I was having a little bit of technical difficulties, but it looks like I fixed it. So today we will be making our first life together. <laughs> Okay, let me invite a few. I really don't know how to invite people here, but let's give it a try. This video is private. Okay, why? No. There you go. Let me see how can I share with other viewers. Because like I said, it's my first time doing this so I'm not sure how to share it okay I think I see it um, I really hope you guys are getting a good view here because we will be doing this really nice template that I that I have on my Etsy shop. So if one of you guys is watching me, <laughs> you can leave a comment and let me know that, that you can see everything. Okay, so let's get started. Um I'm going to do a shaker in this um, project today here with you guys. But that's not part of the file. That's separate. Um, this is just something that I decided to do. Uh, just, just to do something different than just the clock. Okay. But I will be doing what it's the blank template first. And then... Um, I will just show you how you could change it into any theme that you want. You could do whatever comes to mind um, with this file. You could do it because in my Etsy shop, pretty much what you get is a blank template. Okay. So let me show you what you're supposed to be having on your template. And so you could have an idea like how to make. So you're going to have two of these pieces. So you're going to have two of these pieces, which is going to make your purse. So you can see right here has the handle. Um, then you're also going to have two circles like this. One has a little triangle and the other one has like a little oval on it. And with that, you also got um, some of this strips which is going to be the walls for our um, our clock purse and if you notice this ones also have a sign so this one have a little triangle you're going to put it aside you're going to look for the other triangle which is this one right here and you're going to put it aside so what that means is that those two pieces are going to go with your circle that has a triangle okay so put those aside and then the other two are going to have the oval. He has an oval here and an oval here. So what that means is that those two pieces go with your uh, circle that has the little oval in it. Okay. So you're going to put those aside. So you have three pieces here, three pieces here. You got your two shapes for the back. 
Then you also have this little square right here that's going to help you um that's going to help you uh for the bottom part of your purse. And then uh since this is supposed to be a purse, I actually added a little zipper for the creation purpose. And the zipper comes with the little I don't even know how to call what to call this. But anyway, it's part of the bag. <laughs> And then together with that, you also got your clock hands. And then I added these two extra pieces right here. And this is for you to give um, some color to your uh, handles, like make your handles be a different color than your back. In this case, I cut them in gold. But since I will be doing the shaker, I also cut them in white over here so later on you will not see me using gold you will see me using um white but that's totally separate this is all you're supposed to have for your clock <clears throat> then you also have a white um circle that's for you to do your clock movement because these handles are supposed to move i'll show you in a little bit what you need to do your clock movement but you're supposed to have this circle in the file you also going to have this part of the clock i left this part of the clock as an spg for you uh if you want to take out little p uh each piece and glue them separately you could do that if you want to that's totally optional I did not want to do that because I didn't want to place them on the wrong size or not to have the right distance. So I just decided to make this part right here a print and cut. So in order for you to do that in Cricut, you literally just go and group everything together. And on your right hand corner in the bottom of your Cricut Design Space, you're going to click the option of flatten. So you pretty much flatten and making the whole piece, a, the whole piece, I'm sorry, a print and cut and not a regular uh, vector, not a regular SVG. So that's something that you could do. Now, before we continue, let me show you the brads. I shouldn't have it ready. Sorry about that. So this is the brats that you're going to use to make the movement. I'll show you in a little bit how we do this, but this is what you need to make the movement on your clock hands. So it's just called brats, and you could use a small one just like this one. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there, and we're gonna go ahead and continue. It's funny, I thought over here we could see comments, but I don't see any comments. I do see six viewers. I just don't see no. Oh, yes, I see it now. Hi, Betsy. Hi, Leah. Hi, Liz Dali. I think that's you, Liz Dali. I think I recognize your picture. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to put this stuff aside. And we're just going to put our little purse together. So that way, when you go on Etsy and you purchase your file, you will have this video to come back on uh, to put it together. Okay, I'm going to put this aside because the first thing we're going to start with, it's going to be um, these pieces right here. So I'm going to start with the oval one first. Okay, so what I'm going to start doing, this has uh, score lines. So the file actually comes with score lines and with cut lines. So if you just got one straight cut that says basic cut, I actually named the files. One says score lines, the other one says just regular cut lines. So if you wanted to do the one with score lines, you will go and you will change your basic cut. You will change it into a score line and the operation section. So you pick on the line that says basic cut and you change it to a score line. So all these little lines that you see right here that you see on your fire, you're going to make them score lines. So you could do this. So you can start folding these lines and be able to use them for your file. OK, 
okay so just remember that that you need to make sure that you change all the basic cut lines into score lines if you are using the file that says score lines okay if you're using the ones that says basic cut you do not need to do this um you do not need to change anything you just need to make sure put it to cut this one i decided to do it with score line um just because i wanted to cut this file really quick <laughs> And if you do cut lines, it takes a little longer to cut. But I do like cut lines better because cut lines make a more um, clear folding line. So it's easier for you to fold your lines. But it all depends on what you like. Some people don't like score lines. Some people prefer cut lines. It's all to what you like, to be honest. But in my fire, you got both options. Like... You could use either or. Okay. Just gonna keep folding everything. Oh, wow. To be my first life and have eight of you here. I'm really thankful to have eight of you here. Let's see if I'm going to like uh, YouTube lives <laughs> to continue coming live here. This would actually be the best way for me to do it. Like coming live and doing these videos. I think it's easier than doing a video and editing a video. That takes a little bit more time. And I personally do not like editing videos. Yes, I don't know how YouTube works, but if likes is what will make people come see me, I would greatly appreciate if you guys do tap or I don't even know how do you give likes here. Is it by tapping or, or how? I really don't know anything about this. I, don't, I really don't know if you give likes here or not. I, I don't know how it works. <laughs> anyway, okay. So now that this is done, I'm going to go ahead and start gluing. So to do this one, you could use, I personally only like to use three glues for any of my paper crafts whenever I'm not using hot glue. So one of the glues is the Beacon 3-in-1. It's really, really good glue. I love it. But we also have um, the Precision Craft Glue, which is the Burly Art. What I love about this glue is their tip. It's amazing to do small items like this one. And then my other favorite one will be the R glitter. So this will be three, the three of my favorite, favorite glues to, to use. Okay. So let me use, let me use our glitter for this one. Let me just open up the tip because I haven't been crafting lately. Took a break. Let's see. Okay, I might need a needle to open it up. Where's my needles here? Let me try and open this up. I think this one's really clogged, so let's... Okay. There you go. Cool. So now we're going to put glue on our tabs. I 
I should have shown you how the this template looks before starting. I'm sorry about that. But for some reason, the video was not working. It kept saying that, that I need to switch some settings from vertical to horizontal. I don't know. It was just giving me trouble to begin with. So that kind of threw me off a little bit. But we are here ready to learn right okay and then you're gonna bring in your circle in and you're gonna glue those tabs in just like this I normally have a stick over here so this is called a bone and what this does is this helps you press it on the sides so your two papers can adhere nicely. This is a really good tool to use whenever you're doing boxes, 3D letters, or templates like this one. Okay, so now we're gonna get our next piece. Make sure you don't confuse, that's why I'd rather go step by step doing this. You don't confuse these ones with the other ones because these ones are meant to be to the circle. Even though the circles look like they the same size, one is slightly uh, smaller than the other one. Okay, so now this one has a little tap right here. So we're gonna put a little bit of glue here and we're gonna glue this tap. To this section right here right there and then we're gonna do the same step which is putting glue on these tabs to attach it to the circle Start bringing this in, 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 like that. This part right here is gonna connect to this other one, so we put glue right there. Perfect. Like that. And go back with your bone and start pressing it down. Yep. And that's glued together. So we finished with the first uh, circle. Now we're going to put that one aside and we're going to come and we're going to do the same thing that we did with that one. We're going to do with this one. Meeting next craft alone can be done on YouTube so the videos can save. 
with no problem. Keep folding it. Ready for the other. You see how these ones are smaller than the other ones? So that's the bigger circle. This is the smaller circle. Okay. So let's do the same thing. We're putting our glue. I think many girls already that have purchased this file. Uh, nobody has ever asked me for this video. This is the first time someone asks asks ask for the video. That's why I'm making it right now. And since I know it was gonna be something really quick, I was like, yeah, no problem. I could do a video. Uh, but many girls that have already purchased this file. Um, they already made it into different themes. One made it into the clock for the Cinderella. And the other one made it into cards, like the Disney cards. They, they did that. And then another girl um, did it. Captain America, my favorite superhero. I was like, oh my God, I need that box. Captain America. So, like I said, you can make it into any theme that you, you know, that comes to mind. Uh, you don't need to, you know, just make it a clock. You can make it anything. So that's done. So now let's go back here and let's glue our second part. Right here. go back and so you you notice how it's it's pretty much the same um step that you did on the other one you do on this one it's just that this one's a little bit smaller than the other one but it's pretty much the same steps it's an easy and simple template to put together it will not take you long to put this together And you will not waste too much paper either because two of the circles fit in one page. Uh, in the um, two of the circles fit in one page in in a page twelve by twelve, and then the other ones, the ones that have the handle, you can put these walls that we're doing right here you can put those walls like together in the same page as those so literally all it will take you is four pages 12 by 12. 
Or if you don't have a 12 by 10, then you will need to do it in eight and a half by 11 on the little size um, cardstock. I always recommend that whenever you're going to do these bags, um, boxes like templates like this, that you're not using a regular um, like heavy duty gobble box, the ones that already come pre-cut for you. If you're going to cut it yourself to make it into different shapes, I recommend that you use um, Joanne's cardstock at best, but most importantly, that is 80 pound cardstock that you use okay so this part's done this part's done so this this you see how this one's the smaller one that's why this one fits in here so this first part it's done now to this ones we're gonna bring in our the ones that have the little shape the little handle i mean oops sorry okay and this ones also have a little score line right here that you're gonna fold. And the other one also have right there. This is gonna go glue to this um to this part right here. Okay. So let's glue the big one first. Let's take this out. Okay, I like that the the part where I like um, attach it together. Remember this part right here that we attach together. I like to put that part to the bottom. I like to keep that part to the bottom because that's gonna go right there. Okay, so let's put glue. So if you were asking yourself, what about the little circle there? So don't worry about the little circle because now the little circle is going to be covered um, with the other part of the template. You're gonna oops, let's take that out of the way. Let's bring it down here and let's close this. Same thing, you're gonna start pressing to it. You could do it with your hands if you want, or you could use your phone, however, you want. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring this in, this bottom piece. I want it to the bottom. I'm gonna put that in, and now I'm gonna glue this to it like that. I recommend that when you glue this part, you put it in. When you're gonna do the first tap of glue, you put it, you put this piece inside the other circle. Um, then you could take it out to do the whole pressure on it. But I just like to put it now when I glue it so I can make sure it's glue on the right place and right where I need it to be. So I'm gonna come right here. And I'm going to make sure that this two are level here, like that. See so these two pieces right here, make sure that they are level together. Just do a little pressure on it so it could hold. Turn it around. Let it adhere a little bit. Okay, now I'll take it out and I do my whole little pressure here so to make sure it's holding nicely there. Okay. Perfect. 
now that it's glued together, we're gonna come and glue this part right here. Put a little bit of glue. Bring it in together. Remember this little piece, little square that you have, that's to go right here. I will recommend you open it so then you could put your pressure right here on this side. And that's that. That's as long as the the template, the black template, your purse. That's it. This is this is all you have to do for your uh, template. That's pretty much your bag. Your bag is ready and done. So now we're just gonna go and quickly show um, the clock. See? If you wanted to add it into a clock, make it into a clock. So, not that. So we get um, this. A uh, little hole on the white part. Where is my brats? That's where this is gonna go. Your brat, it's gonna go through there like that. And then you're gonna open it up like that. And pretty much what you're going to do is you're gonna glue one side to this and the other side to the other one so, right here you will glue one piece there and the other piece right over there that's gonna go with hot glue oh my god i should have connected my hot glue beforehand let's put my hot glue to warm up a little bit okay and then before we go ahead and do that, you're gonna come. This part right here, you could choose if you wanna do foam tape, you want to do to give a little bit extra high, or if you just wanna leave it that way. This part is optional. It's optional to what you like. Some people like to give high. I love giving high actually on mine. I love giving high. Um, to my work so so i'm gonna grab some of my phone tapes if you're just starting in crafting and you don't know about this phone tapes this is what we use as crafters to give the extra high so let's put that aside while my hot glue warms up and we're just gonna put a little bit of this phone tapes all around just to give a little bit of extra high to our clock if you don't want to do this part of the height then you would just glue it directly to the white part as I said it's optional hello cat thank you for joining I don't know if I mentioned, but this phone tape you find at a Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, Michaels, Hobby Lobby. You find phone tape at any of those craft stores. But the one that this one that I use is from Dollar Tree. Okay. And this one don't matter how you put it. Um, because later on the handles are going to be moving anyway. 
right there. Okay. So this is gonna go glue. Oh, this part does matter how you glue it. Where's 12? 10, 11, 12. Right there. This part does matter a little bit how you put it because um, 12 has to be on top. <laughs> Okay, and this part right here, you will pretty much glue it to your box. Um, I'm not going to glue it because remember, I told you guys I'm going to do a little shaker for mine. So I am not going to glue it. I just put a little bit of foam tape so you guys could just see like what it will look like. But then I'm going to take it out because I'm doing a little shaker on mine. But I just wanted to make sure that all my girls there... Um, Etsy to buy this template when they come here they you know they get the whole picture of what it will look like okay so that goes there and then oh my god this gun heats up right away and we put a little bit of glue right here oh hold on I noticed I was doing something weird thank god I noticed beforehand before gluing everything together so I was like hold on it wasn't like this see I, I made the file and I could forget that's what this is for. Let me let me get another color because that's why I was like, okay, hold on. How am I gonna hide the yellow? Let me get a blue one. I was like, how am I gonna hide this now? But let me get a blue one so that doesn't look. Okay, so the whole point of this one's having the little hole. It's so this one can go through. I think this was a little bit too big. Let me get a small one. We have all the sizes for this one. Yep, this one will match. There you go. So we put this ones through here. That's how come it's gonna do the whole movement. Silly Gabby did not remember that. And then we put this one through here. And then we open this one here. So like that, we could, you know, the kids can play around with this and put it however they want. And now our clock is going to go right here. And that's that. Look, that's your clock. That's pretty much your clock. Then the extras that I show you guys is for you guys to give the extra, you know, the extra touch to your clock if you want to add this um, handles to make them go to match. And then right here, Remember I told you guys I did the little um zipper to make it look more than a more like a bag. Well we'll come and we'll put this little piece right here like this. See? And then you're just gonna fold this there. So your zipper could kind of do the little movement there. I was just being extra. <laughs> Let me glue it together. This part right here is already decoration purposes. I mean, do it so it could look more like a bag. <laughs> Let's put our glue here. I 
right there. There. So it could look more like a like a purse. Let me not glue this ones because I'm going to do this one differently. So I'm gonna glue this one's right here. Yep, make sure you put the right one because this ones are one slightly smaller than the other, I believe. One handle, and we'll go and put the other hand over here. Perfect. And that's song. Look how simple and easy it is to make this template. Super, super simple. Nice and easy. And then, you know, kids get to open it, put gifts. Gives you more space for you to be able to put, I don't know, like a little coloring book, a crayon, and some candies in there for kids to enjoy. But this is how simple it gets to put this box together. I don't think it gets simple than that. There, okay. So I decided to do a little shaker on this one so you guys could see how you could do it to anything you want. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this aside and I'm just gonna do a little shaker. And quick thing, if you are Mm, a little advanced in in cricket or have taken some of my classes then you could kind of figure it out oh how am i gonna do that part gabby like i want to do that part too like how do i do that well this is pretty much the same size as the white circle that had the little hole in it all i did to it is i added this nice background that I found, I was like, okay, let me add like a, like a little background, like something that could look cute inside, like a glove. Let's make it look like a little glove. So you will pretty much do that. And then you will do some rings to, to this. And the rings, I just made it a little bit smaller because I don't want them to show. Look at this. These rings are slightly smaller. So you would just go and you do Go on your offset tool, do a little inset of a circle, and then make a ring out of that circle. You could even use the, the clock and do like an inset of the clock. You see how the clock is slightly smaller than the white circle? You could even go on the clock and make an inset of the clock. That's totally up, totally up to you. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to use my foam tape. I'm gonna use this strips foam tapes to make um, my circle. Hold on, yeah. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring foam tape here, so I don't have to do it directly to my image there so I don't have to damage that image I decided to do this ring and because I don't really want the phone tip to show much you know when the kids have this okay if I don't want them seeing you see how my phone tape is not coming at the edge it's coming like a little bit in well the whole purpose of that is that I don't want I don't want the tape to show that much like, I wish it doesn't show at all, but can't help it. It's going to show just a little bit. Okay. Um, 
this part right here we're gonna put a little bit of glue to connect the two pieces Let me lift it up before it can it glues and right here too Just lifting this up before it gets glued to them. Okay, perfect. And now I'm just missing a tiny little piece there. Let's see if my calculations are good. Looks like it's this much. Let's see if I was good on calculus. Definitely not. I was not good on calculus. <laughs> Definitely not. No, I was more of an algebra girl than calculus. <laughs> I was not good in calculus. Okay. Same thing. Let's glue it here because we don't want any of our shakers coming off. This phone tape, I got it from Crafts by D. She's in TikTok, Instagram, and you can go to her Etsy. Okay. So now that I got that, let me take this part off. See how? Okay. And I do two rings of this. So I'm gonna come and I'm gonna glue my second ring to it. Where's all this hot glue coming from? Okay, and I'm gonna put together not too fast. This phone tape is really good, <laughs> and it glues right away. Perfect. So just press it, press it. And that's going to go glue to this part right here. Just notice I didn't cut my acetate. But I'm not going to hesitate to that. I'm just going to quickly put the cut it. I mean, it is a circle. How hard can it be to cut a circle, right? <laughs> so I'm just gonna do this by hand, but you know, if you do, you can literally just um, put a circle and just cut it in acetate. The same size is fine. As long as you don't do it smaller than your circle, you go. If you do it a little bit bigger, you fine. Don't do it smaller than your circle. Okay. 
Okay, perfect. I have the acetate now. Okay. So now all we're going to do is we're going to glue this to our base right here. Put a little bit of glue. And glue this to the... to the base right here. Okay, and then all we're gonna put is our little glitters, our little shakers, whatever we wanna put inside. And this part right here, you can go you could go crazy putting your stuff. You could put whatever you want in this thing. Put a little bit of snowflakes. In this step, you just like put whatever you have in your craft room that's gonna make it nice and shaky. This part is the part that you have fun. Perfect. And since we want this to shake a little bit, since we're giving it to the kids, we want the kids to play around. We're just going to put a little bit of our uh, diamond dots. You find, see, they shake. You find those, uh, Javi, well, I think Javi Lavi doesn't sell them no more. Uh, I believe Joanne still does. Joanne's and I think Michael's, I'm not sure. Okay. And now we're going to glue our acetate right here on top. We're going to bring in our acetate right there. I'm going to put glue on this part right here. I normally clean my acetate before I use it, but in this occasion, I'm not going to clean it. Because I don't want the, the video to get, to go extra, extra long. And because I think it's gonna be cute that some of the glitters are gonna get attached to the acetate, so it's gonna be cute. If not, I will normally use Windex to clean my acetate. Good thing I didn't go too short right here on cutting. That's why it's always good to cut it with your machine. Okay, after you do that, remember to do a, a thicker layer, a thicker circle like this one, because that's what's gonna help you cover uh, the whole ugly part right there. You don't wanna see any of this ugly glue here. You want that to be completely covered so you're gonna come back up here you're gonna put some more glue remember how i did this circle smaller than the base because i don't want to show i don't want it, any of the glue to show that's why i did a little bit smaller than the base and this one i did it the same size of of, of the base so it could be um complete cover 
so the ring that goes on top to cover your your piece um, you want to keep it the same size so it can cover everything nicely you see but a little if I have to move it so now it could be our little shaker okay perfect so what I was telling you guys you see how you barely see the the glue the tape that's why I wanted to do it like so when kids just see it like that slightly they're not gonna see much of the glue unless they literally go in there and pick on it but other than that they're not gonna see it okay so let's bring back our clock because we no longer want this as a clock we want to take off the clock and we're just gonna take this part out because remember i put that one there to show but i also wanted to show you that you could do different stuff and now we're gonna come and we're gonna glue this to our base right here this part you can also do foam tape or you could glue it i'm not gonna do foam tape i'm just gonna glue it because i think it has enough 3d on it like we don't want to fill it up with three <gasps> Excuse me, we don't want to fill it up. Like, make it too thick. Okay, it'll be nice if the glue does come out. There you go. Perfect. Turn it around. And let's put it right there. So, we just made our our back right now to be like a little shaker glove see how cute and kids will love it because they could like play around with their with their little bag if we wanted to I, I was thinking of adding like a little santa here with the reindeer like going over since it is christmas but i was like no let me just leave it simple for now so i don't make the life too long but you guys could uh any decoration you want i don't know um i remember back in the day when my kids were small i used to love naming the bags like i don't know carlos juan pedro um maria juanita i would like name each bag and the kids will feel like it's more personal to them having like a bag with their name it's like yay that's mine you know so that's something that we could do here too we can literally like add the kid's name to it but that's totally up to you whatever you want to add to the back um ladies thank you so much for joining this live for sticking around watching with me keeping me company um if you do decide to go and get this template i can't wait to see um what you guys make out of it uh like i said you guys can make any themes you like um and nothing i'll see you on the next video thanks again for joining bye